how are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing well. So today I am headed off to two food collaborations. I'm heading off to this new churros pub that opened called Duncan Churros. So I'm heading off there for breakfast. So that's my first food collaboration. And you guys will see the in-depth reel on my Instagram. So for the bunch of my YouTube community who follows me on Instagram, you would see um, what you can expect from that place, the food you, you can find, how my experience is like. And especially if you're a churros fan, then definitely do go watch that reel. I think by the time that you head over there, it might already be uploaded, hopefully. Then after that, I will be heading off to my second food collaboration, which is Indulge. So I will be giving that a try and also uh, probably a bit of shopping, uh, window shopping or even actual shopping if I find anything that I want to buy. So that's how today's sketch is. Also, day before yesterday, I headed off to Mirissa and Valigama down South Sri Lanka for a day trip uh, because again I had a collaboration there to head to to this restaurant called the Ingrave restaurant in Merissa and uh, I uploaded my full vlog of what I got up to just a couple of hours ago I uploaded it so I'll link it up here for those of you who haven't watched it yet I had a lovely day trip I first headed off to Ingrave restaurant in Merissa had breakfast from there and then headed to Valigama and Valigama went off to Kurumba Bay and literally chilled there for the rest of the day. My last, like the one before this, the Valigama vlog that I uploaded before this, I mostly uh, spent my time at Kai Beach, Valigama and I properly experienced what Kai Beach has to offer as in spent a lot of time in their pool had food from there and I didn't really head to Kurumba Bay as much but on the trip that I went day before Kurumba Bay was the main place where I chilled at so now I've experienced both Kai Beach and Kurumba Bay and I think I got a comment asking which place out of the two is better I would say they offer two different experiences uh, Kai Beach sometimes has music going on in the background so it's a bit more upbeat and lively whereas if you want to like chill and have sort of a relaxing time. Kurumba Bay would be better, whereas Kai Beach has a lot of beats going on. So that is also a different nice vibe. Aesthetics wise, Kai Beach looks more aesthetic with all its ambience and deco and the way that they have set up the place. Um, so yeah, that's how it is. And I think Kai Beach has a minimum spend of 2K if I'm not wrong. Whereas Kurumba Bay does not really have a minimum spend. You can choose to go to whichever restaurant and uh, that's how it goes. I'm gonna go with these ones today. I have been neglecting wearing this pair, but I feel like today is a good day to wear these two. I think the earrings are quite matchy with this outfit. So outfit wise, I'm wearing this sort of frilly, Top, if you can call that it's tight over here and then it flows down over here and it's split over here so it actually pairs well with a short and I did wear this with a short but I just was in the mood to wear a long bottom so I'm wearing this long flared pants and I paired it up with this top and it actually goes well together this is something different from what I usually wear and also I think I don't think I've worn this before in one of my videos I think I've worn it uh, when going out but i've not like showed it in videos so yeah this is my outfit and the lighting is not the greatest so you won't be able to see like the proper colors but this is not black it's like a dark blue and um this golden dark orange color and i like the detail over here it's pretty nice the thing with me is i never know how to like properly put a pocket I put it on and it looks nice for a moment and then my hair just starts loosening up again and it just looks like I haven't got anything on holding it up on at the back. Guys, I found this earring. Can you see it? I think it suits my outfit but this is rose gold and obviously this is more like of a dark yellow, orange shade, dark yellow rather. But this, as you can see, why is it not focusing? But yeah, it got black and rose gold. I feel like wearing that too. It actually goes quite well. You don't really see that it's rose gold. It blends in with 
my top i'm gonna wear that instead of this that's nice for my shoes i got this new pair of wedges i think i showed you guys in my previous vlog too and it really suits this outfit pretty well so obviously i'm gonna be wearing those and it's also very comfortable with the uh, wedges you never know whether it's gonna be comfortable or not but these are very comfortable so i really am liking that and this is my outfit Also, this time's post notification shout out goes out to Manisha. I'm very glad that you're enjoying the videos and thank you for being part of the community. For a shout out, all you gotta do is to subscribe and comment down below. So, the first place that I headed off to was Dangachiro's. It's located at Alexandra Place, so it's located at the main Odeo. And there they have got food outlets here, and one of those is the Dangachiro's and Drinks Outlet. So the color theme of the outlet is purple and on the screen you can see their uh, churro poppers. They are bite-sized snacks which they drench in chocolate so that's very yummy. These are their classic churros in the making which I tried out and their burgers and I did try out a selection of burgers too. So let me show you guys what I tried. They have their filled churros going on. I didn't try that and then they also have their gift of loops which is very convenient if you're trying out with a bunch of friends. Then they have their classic churros, their ice cream churro sandwich which I did try and I also got their matcha boba. You know me, I love matcha and I love boba so both of them together are very ideal. And from their burgers, I tried their Hawaiian grilled chicken burger. So if you guys want to see the prices, I show you guys the menu so that you can take a look at the prices and see that for yourself. So just pause it and uh, you can uh, check the prices out. So this is them making the Hawaiian grilled chicken burger. The assembling was very fascinating to watch. There was so much of stacking going on. You can see me trying it out as you stay tuned. And this is the final look. Then we have them making their ice cream churro sandwich. They put a portion of vanilla ice cream and then put uh, chocolate on top and the cinnamon churro on top of that. Obviously, because it's ice cream, it melts pretty fast. So if you get this, I would recommend you eat this first. Over here, we've got their classic churros, which I tried with three dips, the coffee dip, the dulce de leche and their milk chocolate dip, which was my favorite. And we have their matcha boba. And here are the churro poppers that I showed you guys initially and they put cookie, uh, cookie crumbs on top. And that was sort of the sprinkling that they did. So I started with their burger. I love to start with savory usually and then their matcha boba and I really did like it. And then I have classic churros. I first tried with their milk chocolate dip, which was my favorite. And then I also tried their dulce de leche, which was more of a caramel dip, and that matched this too. And finally, I tried their coffee dip. The coffee dip was a bit bitter for me, so I'll probably put it third on my list. And I ate till my stomach was happy and then I chugged away at my matcha boba and this is the aftermath of a food coma and they also gave me their churro rewards card so this makes my future churro visits that much more convenient and there were a bit of churros left so we took it to go and then hopped on to Odell which is right in front of it and did a bit of shopping yes you heard my friend right wherever there's jewelry i am there as you guys know i love jewelry so whenever i see accessories i just love to check those out and i love to see the new pieces that they have
and then afterwards i was headed off to food collaboration location number two which was indulge so we headed out of odale and we were waiting for the uber to arrive and once the uber came we went to marine drive because the indulge is located in two spots and we were going to go to the marine drive location and uh, here is indulge they open i believe after 2 p.m so we got there a bit early but somehow uh, it was nearer to 2 p.m and we were able to go inside soon enough and this is how the interior here looks like and i see so many people taking pictures next to that clock area which you see because it's so florally decorated And they've got a bunch of snacks here like Nutella and crisps, dairy milk. So the dishes that we ordered were, we got the dome, the ultimate chocolate dome. Let me show you guys this one, which uh, was very interesting to have as a dessert. Then we've got their cheesy tandoori chicken waffle. Their bubble waffles were not available this day, so we got just the waffle. And then we also got their sriracha chicken wings. I love sriracha wings, so I definitely had to get that. As well as their peri peri fries and their mango passion fusion. They had a mango and passion combination here, so I decided to go for that. These are their sriracha wings and this is their mango passion fusion drink. Then we've got the rest of the mains and sides. So starting off with their mango passion mocktail. This was really a refreshing blend of mango and passion fruit. It was super fresh and tropical and especially I tried it during the afternoon time when the sun's out. So you need that uh, coolant. Moving on to their sriracha chicken wings. These to eat it you really have to get into it and uh, i wish it had a bit more spice i like things a bit spicier but it was nice and uh, finally we have not finally actually we have the peri peri fries more of a side dish and they served it with this sauce i believe a peri peri sauce and yeah that was yummy Then we have the tandoori chicken waffle. This tasted like an Indian cuisine on top of a waffle, literally. And it was nice too. But uh, my recommendation if you're getting this is to eat it as soon as you get because it can otherwise become a bit soggy because they have uh, sauce lathered all over it. And the moment I've been waiting for to try their chocolate dome so to try this you've got to pour this hot stream of chocolate on top and then it melts away and underneath it they reveal fresh strawberries you get bananas you get grapes and it's all sitting on a rich brownie with creamy ice cream so yeah if you are definitely coming here with a group of friends you should all um just get one of these and then you can just put your utensils in and eat away it's very it's such a communal dish to eat and then afterwards we were headed off to the final destination of the day which was g flock because my friend had a voucher from there so she wanted to buy an item and with that i'm going to be wrapping up this time's vlog i hope you guys enjoyed I really do enjoy sharing my adventures with you all. If you want more behind the scenes, feel free to follow me up on my Instagram and TikTok, which are the other social medias that I am active on. The links are down in the description box and it goes as Kaviti Dinatma. So with that, guys, I will see you all next time with another video. Bye.